This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Hey there, you guys. Every time I go to talk, the stream elements knows it's timed out, okay? Which is why I must always talk over it. Okay, but no, uh, let us just get into this, make sure things are good on my end. But no, um, as we can see, uh, I am going to be starting out a little bit into it. By that I mean, I, even from past streams or past videos, wherever this is going to be, if you're seeing it live, or at least where it was on Twitch, or if you're seeing it from YouTube... Um, I was normally standing right here, and I happened to just log in to get my commissions done, and bam, straight into the festival uh, beginnings. Uh, I'm going to quickly try summing some of it up, just to, you know, kind of give us a good spot to start, since we didn't get that intro. But, um, we kind of start off with Catherine talking to us about the Windbloom Festival. We're asking if there's any commissions, and, you know, she's bringing up the festivities and kind of, like, where focus is on right now. That there's not many commissions. And Sucrose comes over to us and mentions how she, I think, was it, like, appointed uh, the spot of kind of helping people out during this time? And she's kind of asking us um, about stuff. Um, but got called over by Marjorie, right? Over there. And then we see Kale, which uh, I'm so happy. I'm super excited. Um, I did a terrible job summarizing that, but <laughs> it's okay. I, I'm, I'm good with that. I'll accept my downfall. We have no commissions to do. Um, we, we do have this here. Um, but we, we do have this. Um, I might get to this after the Windbloom Festival, uh, but don't be surprised if, uh, like, let's say by the end of this I do decide to do that, the stream cuts, and then a new one starts, okay? The, that just might be how I do it. So, we'll, we'll get into that when that happens. But for now, let's finally talk to Kale. This is the team I'm gonna use until I'm told it's not the smart move, so... Let's just go with it. Hey, Sucrose. Kale, it's been like two or three days. What's up? Hey! Hey! Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, you guys. What are the chances? You were staring into space just now. Something the matter? Yeah, something up, Kale? Um, <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm fine. I was just looking at a Mondstadt children's book in the souvenir shop over there. While I was flipping through it, a piece of paper fell out. The writing on it Interesting. was really mysterious. Almost like a prophecy. If you can do these things, you may light the lantern of utmost joy and receive a supreme blessing. Oh my god, look at Kale go. I'm so proud. Find a flower that is not of this world. Find a guide who will never get lost. Find one who would never lie. Find a legend that never ends. That's very so interesting. Here, have a look. Hmm. I asked the lady who owns the store about it, but she said that she didn't know anything about Yeah, it was probably just there, huh? We we definitely can. Oh, Sucrose. Hey, what's up? Hi there. Sorry to butt in, but what's the name of that storybook you just mentioned? Oh, <laughs> it was called The Boar Princess. Ah, that book. Hmm. That is strange. I've read that book, and it sounds like that note you found has no relation to the story at all. Um <laughs> yeah, we do. Yes, we are all friends here. 
from Samira's Avidia Forest. Hello. Uh, hi. These two are adorable. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're both a little shy and awkward on first meeting. It's, it's okay. We're here for you. Both. Uh, Prophecy. Could it be real? I, um, without having done any research, I couldn't comment definitively. Mm. Um, but <laughs> oh my if god, you want my subjective opinion, I don't think that it's a nasty prank or anything. The only people who read children's books are those with a childlike, childlike wonder. Mm -hmm. Or children, of course. I'm sure that whoever put this prophecy there would understand that. Would they really do this just to spread lies and ruin someone's innocence? I can't imagine anyone being so cruel. That's a great take. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Who would want to hurt a child's feelings? Um. Okay, so... Rude people. <laughs> that, that, that's all I can think of. Or other just rude kids. Um, just wanting to get at someone else. If but. I had to guess... Maybe a fairy that can make people's wishes come true or something? I haven't read many fairy tales, so this is pure speculation. With no other information on hand or prior research to compare against. I'm afraid it might not even be- No, no, Sucrose, it's okay. Let's talk about it. Her guesswork is really good, though. I want to pick her brain some more. <laughs> oh, no. Do you find it annoying if I keep asking her questions? Not annoying. I don't think it. No. What's the best thing to say to someone you're meeting for the first time? Would you like to get the lantern of utmost joy? Uh, well, yes. I mean, if possible. Then, what would you wish for, Kale? Um, I'd wish. For you have a, an amazing personality. Personality. Uh-huh. Huh? You can't waste it on that. You've got a great personality already. That's very kind of you. Uh, but if you know me like I do... Carly! Say that to Amber's face. <laughs> I know for a fact she'll disagree with you. Come on, Kale. Tell us you have a terrible personality now. I'm sorry. Kale! Oh, you made good time, huh? You're way earlier than I expected. I spotted your green hair way off in the distance. Good thing my eyes are sharp, or I'd have missed you. Amber! Have you been doing well? Did you... finish all the pita pockets I brought you last time? You bet. They're getting yummier each time you make them. Huh? Wait. Have you been to yeah. She mentioned Amber before. I don't remember if she's. Well, I swear she. I don't remember. <laughs> I read the manga, so. So ever since my Alizar got better, I've been looking out for an opportunity to come back to Mondstadt and tell them all the news that I've been cured. <laughs> Thanks. If it's okay with everyone, why don't I take Kale for a walk around town? I'd like to show her some of the places she didn't get to see last time. Of course. Fine by me. Sure, go right ahead! I, uh... Um... Sorry, oh, she's, she's saying no I to Amber here? My traveling companions by the city gate in a few minutes, so... I can't well, go with you just hey. yet. Hey, this is a little oh, bit later. That's all right. In that case, you guys go rest up, and I'll go see Master Jean to ask for some time off. Oh, okay. Traveler Sucrose, could you look after Kale for now? I'll come get her later and take her out. There's still a whole bunch of people I need to introduce her to. Sure, no problem. Ah, yes. You can count on us. Awesome. See you later, then. Um, you all right there, Kale? You look kind of disappointed. <sighs> I'm 
sorry. I'm just feeling a little shy today. Don't worry about me. Hmm. Amber wants to introduce me to more of her friends. Am I gonna be able to cope? I'm sure you'll be fine, oh, Kale. So far, I'm already struggling to make conversation. You're doing so much better than you think. And I'd find it much easier to make friends with people. Uh, it's nearly time. Let's go to the gate and see if they've arrived. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, is this? I knew she was gonna be the focus because of this the live stream, but oh my god, Kale, no! Welcome to Mondstadt. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome. Hey there, you two. Why is this humble windmill such a great view? I mean, it's understandable. It must have been a long time since you last came to Mondstadt. Because it is the true great Vayu Viastra. Oh my god. <sighs> Sino, no. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you don't get it. View, Vayu, and also Mahamatra, Vayu Viastra. Jesus, Kale, oh. please break it up. It's about to be a fight. <laughs> I'm joking. Am I glad to see you? And who's this young lady? Master, this is Sucrose, an alchemist with the Knights of Favonius. We just met. Sucrose, this is my teacher, Tainari. He's a highly respected forest watcher in Samero, and he's also a very famous botanist. Kale's exaggerating. I'm Tainari. Pleased to meet you. So you have a teacher as well. The pleasure is all mine, Tainari, sir. Yep, he's extremely knowledgeable too. And this is just God, you two have so much in common. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just hit me. Really famous in Sumeru as well. Greetings. Though if I might say so, we're purely here for personal reasons. You needn't be unduly concerned with our official positions. And Kale, there's no need to use my full title. Sino is fine. Or sir, if you absolutely must. Indeed. We're not here in an official capacity. Just to keep Kale company on her vacation. Keep me company? But it was you two that insisted on coming! Kale is very important to us. We felt <laughs> obliged to ensure her safety on the long, treacherous journey to Hey, Mondstadt. they just care about you, Kale. It's all good. Hey, think about it. They wanted to be here with you too. Okay? What if something bad happens while the general Mahamatra's away? There should be no issues. I have left my duties in the hands of my subordinates and two especially reliable helpers. Oh, Sucrose. What were you saying about you? I'm really hoping. I was just going to mention that. Uh, no, no, there's no way the I'll hate them quest is going to get in my way, okay? This is not Nilu all over again. Mondstadt's genius alchemist. Oh, please, Sucrose. Genius is... Great timing, Albedo. That it will serve only to leave an exaggerated impression of me in the minds of our guests. M Mr. Albedo. But it is an objective truth. <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. So tell me, Sucrose, since your specialty is bioalchemy, what do you know about the antitoxic properties of the calla lily? Wait, wait! Hey, hey. Come on, Paimon. Oh, it <laughs> it's too late, Paimon. It's begun. Quite some detail before, with it being a species native to Mondstadt. I wrote a whole report on my findings. If you're interested, Mr. Tainari, sir, I can go get it for you. <sighs> We're supposed to be here on vacation, and you're already hey, hey, about it's how fine. to improve your herbal medicines. Also, I thought we'd agreed to take on new identities for this trip. What new identities? Mine was Adventurer Sino, skilled desert explorer. Oh, Jesus. Tainari's was technological consultant to the treasure hoarders. 
I can see whose idea this was. I, 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 I... <laughs> yeah. Very much so. <laughs> I do wish some of the less cautious adventurers in the Avidya forest would consider coming to Mondstadt instead. What <laughs> Philanimo mushrooms lack in texture, they make up for in not causing vomiting or diarrhea. <laughs> Are you contemplating using some compounds from the calla lily as active ingredients in a targeted antidote? Yes, I gathered a few on the way here, and my initial research suggests to me that it could be worth a try. Okay, I got it. But as much as I don't wish to be a wet blanket, it takes a huge amount of experimental data to conclusively prove how different drugs interact. Estimating the we have some very professional people here. <laughs> it really shows. Time for procurement and delivery of essential materials. And I'm not sure if we could complete development before you need to return. Well, Albedo's on it. Look at him go. Uh, then please, allow me to help. Mr. Albedo! Apologies for my tardy entrance in the present discussion. I understand you're looking to make an antidote for poisonous fungi, correct? If you happen to have some samples with you, or relevant documentation on hand, perhaps you might give me the chance to review them later. But before that, I invite the three of you to look at this. Um... Okay, okay. Um... Accommodations. One of Mr. Goth's other prop pro properties. Sorry, I'm unable to read. The Adventurer's Guild reception area backup plan uh, to be confirmed. Okay. It's just a schedule? With wind... Okay. Emphasis on botany. No such needs at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Impressive Hardly. multitasking. Rather, I should apologize for interrupting a serious discussion between trained professionals, especially after they've traveled so far to be here, when I myself am neither <laughs> an adventurer... Okay, we're going with it, we're going with it. Okay. ...nor a musician. Nevertheless, I would encourage you to have a knowledgeable local arrange your detailed itinerary while you're in Mondstadt. Take a look. And should you find anything here to be objectionable, it can easily be adjusted. This is too kind of you. These arrangements are quite excellent. It looks great! Even Pino feels like tagging along for the food and board! <laughs> what? You're not included. What do you three think? Very comprehensive. The adventurer, technological consultant, and musician I'll approve. Thank you. Just one thing. We'd like the chance to cook as well. Why don't we change the group dinner to a camping and cooking trip? Oh, how pitch the tents! Ooh, yeah, sounds like a great idea. Um, and Paimo will take him to Good Hunter to order some starters. Mondstadt's cold cut platter is not to be missed. Great, then it's decided. Sucrose and I will bring the three of you to your inn for a quick rest. You two, let's meet by the lake this evening. Got it, got it. Oh? I say that as I forget immediately. I kind of got sidetracked by uh, people coming home and kind of being loud right off the bat. But what can you do about that? <laughs> Hmm. Anything uh, else? Do we, uh, oh my god, time. Do I? It's wind bloom. Hey, there you go, Paimon. Yeah, just don't ruin your apple. Well, we don't have to worry, it's Paimon. <laughs> 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 All right, just a moment. 
No, Paimon. If it was every day, I would not be <laughs> gifting you things every day. Accept it for what it is. Time to go. This is a good spot to have a to set up camp. Time to go. Nice little view. Right by the water. Hello there. This is such a nice setup. <laughs> all right. Looks like we're all here. Not at all. We just came early to set everything up, since we happen to be free today. Kali put up the tent so quickly, but still managed to tie very sturdy knots. You can really tell that she's a professional. That she is. Do much apart from passing materials around. Hey, that's still helpful. Thanks. It's all thanks to Master and Sino. They taught me everything I know. What can I say? For a skilled adventurer, this is just another day on the job. <sighs> Are you quite finished? Or were you going to sing each other's praises till the moon rises? Come on, let's all sit down. Sit down and continue singing praises, okay? It's a nice, positive atmosphere we have going on. I'm sorry, we were sitting there. <laughs> I, I thought it would just continue going. That sunshine sprat was really very good. I didn't watch you it... cook it, but I believe that the prominent umami flavor of the dish owes itself to more than the fish alone. Hmm. That's correct. Any further deductions? Let me think. The aroma was quite uniform. Unlike that of a spice blend, it was also unfamiliar to me. So I would venture that it was a Mondstadt specialty. As far as edible Mondstadt plant species are concerned, calla lilies are usually used in soups. So if I had to guess... Small lampgrass? That's right. I've long heard that Sumeru's fish with cream sauce is noted for its gentle texture, which brings out the tenderness of the fish. Here in Mondstadt, oh, we're not quite as varied in the use of spices as in Sumeru, but the principle of bringing certain distinct flavors to the forefront through combinations of natural ingredients is oh, very much the same. I liked it a lot. I'm curious as to the These two are going to be great friends. I'll write a copy Albedo has a new pen pal. Would anyone like to try the nutrient dense meal I made? I'll have some. What about you, Kale? It doesn't look like you've eaten very much. Is your appetite low at the moment? Uh, no. I just don't eat a lot normally. Hmm. No, Kali, you haven't done anything wrong. She just has an idea. You haven't offended her. Um, no, yeah, she's totally doing... You didn't make things awkward. awkward. Tainari. While we were on the road, we spotted something white walking on two legs. <laughs> was that Paimon? No, that it, it Paimon? couldn't have been. Which day was this? Just after passing through Stonegate. Hmm. Stonegate. Hmm. <laughs> Smug face. There's no way she'd ever walk. Hmm. Is that right? I thought that you'd maybe snacked on too many local ground nuts. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, I everyone's face. Thank you. Oh call I don't no. feel not funny. No. No. Ground, you know. As in ground up, but also the ground. Ground nuts make you fall to the ground. <laughs> no, I, I think we're just gonna have to let him ex You know what sucks? I think I, I, I held back a chuckle. I think of this as uh, the process of getting to know Sino. On the bright side, these jokes show that he thinks of you as his friends. 
Still, we could test the hypothesis. What hypothesis? That plant species indigenous to Mondstadt may have an effect on the motor functions of flying lifeforms. Hey! Paimon's not your test subject! Yeah, it's only us sometimes. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. In, in Lavender Melon, Paimon, because aren't you a Lavender Melon? Hey! Not you too! <laughs> I think the Traveler and Paimon's conversations are more entertaining than Sino's. <laughs> oh shit, Sino, don't kill us! I see. You must have been keeping quiet about this grievance for quite some time now. You seem much cheerier now that you're here in Mondstadt, Sino. Actually, feels like you're a completely different person. That's because I'm Sino the Adventurer. <laughs> it's not funny. Mm -hmm. It's not? <laughs> Our straight faces. You only saw him in his work mode while you were in Sumeru. Very true. He's actually like this most of the time when he's in a good mood. Yep, it's true. Sometimes when he's eating, he'll grumble about how the bowl is too shallow for the amount of food it contains and other random stuff like that. I understand. Then allow me to reintroduce myself. Before you knew me Just as Sino, Mahamatra the adventurer. Sino. Now, please see me as Sino, the adventurer. Uh, yeah, so that's another thing he does. He'll keep repeating something he thinks is funny mm -hmm. until you stop trying to resist. Yeah, we just have to give in for him. So you have Mint. two different mental states? Almost like different phases of matter. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> I want to learn to do that too. I think in your case, the two states we would end up with would be highly conscientious sucrose and <laughs> stupefied sucrose. Oh, by the way, was there any reason in particular that you chose Mondstadt as your destination on this occasion? Oh, well, Lisa once told me that the Windbloom Festival is one of Mondstadt's biggest events of the year. I wanted to take this opportunity to give everyone a Windbloom as a token of my heartfelt gratitude for everything they've done to look after me. Plus, it was a good chance for Kale to get out and meet some new people. Kale, Lily. What? Oh my god. Windbloom. <laughs> Maybe she should call I get it. Kale, Lily. It sounds very Mondstadt. It, it does, doesn't it? There's also cauliflower, which would technically make more sense. But somehow, it doesn't sound as nice. <laughs> hey, hey, we have to give it to him. It does work. It's just... <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> okay, okay, we're, we're passing that one on. Hey, he's had experience with Sino for at least a few years, okay? Sumeru's been through some major changes recently. And things at work have only just started to calm down. I don't get many opportunities to take a vacation. And this was a chance to join Kale on her trip while also learning a few things about Mondstadt's flora and fauna that I'll be able to pass on to my peers and students on my Yeah, return. two birds, one stone. Two birds with one stone. How about you, Sino? I came to ensure Kale's safety. That's just an excuse. Plain and simple. Hey, hey. That's partially true, but he definitely has ulterior motive. There's the matter of a genius There we go. We have it. Aha! So you did have an ulterior motive. Yes. Have you all played Genius Invocation TCG before? God damn it. I have. I don't want to say I have. I'm not good at it. But I'm not going to lie. I'm going to throw myself into this situation cuz what if I say I haven't and then Paimon attacks me? And like gives me my, my secret away. I don't I don't know. We're just and going for it. Is why I am proud to call you my friend. I'm glad I admitted when I the first truth. Began contemplating getting a new card back. I asked around before eventually deciding to ask the legendary Mr. Calx for guidance. A friend oh. of mine, Sawada, whom I played cards with on occasion, okay. had been to Inazuma for the Irodor. Yep. Festival. Okay. Hey, Sino. He Sino, you're much closer so than you think. There. Very close. Uh, Isn't that? You mean he's a friend of yours? He's right there. I see. So, 
You came to Mondstadt in search of Calx. No, that is inaccurate. I came here principally to protect Kale. Hey, you can have secondary motive. Kale's been here on the quiet numerous times, and this is the first time you felt the need to join. Not only me, same applies to you too, doesn't it? <laughs> if my writer friend were here now, I'm sure he would describe this curious coincidence as having the makings of a good story. Oh, definitely. It's a pleasure to meet a fan. Oh, here he comes. Wait, you mean you're Mr. Calx? Having my new friends address me by my pen name feels eh, somewhat unusual. Please, just call me Albedo. Huh. So you're Calx. Sino's been talking about you non-stop recently. <laughs> He's intent on getting you to design a bespoke card back for him. Uh, you didn't have to say all that. Hey, it's okay. We take private commissions, but I believe that we are friends now, all of us. Our conversations have been deep and interesting. And Sino, your passion for this game is indeed one of a kind. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Obviously. And given that as much as he tried denying it for a split second, in I order to say commission. it wow. was all for Kale. So nice. He really is. I feel the same about yours. Um, well, they definitely have different personalities, mm -hmm. but they're similar when it comes to their character. So. How much should I budget for the timeless masterpiece you will produce for me? Let's Surely see. timeless masterpiece is something of an overstatement. Any artwork fit to appear on the reverse of my card decks is by definition a timeless masterpiece. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> Don't mind him. These TCG nutjobs are all like this. I see. So... This has an almost religious significance. Oh, God, you're sold. Starters, you're asking for jokes. I'd like to hear a few more of your jokes. Uh, my jokes? You like them? I do. <laughs> SOS, sit down. Really? I didn't see you laughing. Well, yeah, uh, he has a weird way of showing it. Induced laughter is a separate matter, but I certainly find them fun. If I might interrupt, does anyone else smell something strange? Uh, my nutritional meal! Yep. You okay? Should we go over and take a look too? Of course Tainari would smell that. Hey, what's up, Sucrose? You went over there immediately after hearing uh, Kale mention how she doesn't really usually eat much. What's up? <sighs> Only the base is burned. We can still use the cooking pot. It just needs a bit of a wash. Good thing Tainari's nose is so sharp. Has he been in this kind of situation a lot before? Hey, we don't have to say don't let your guard down, but yeah. You got distracted <sighs> know, a little bit. Just, I'm sorry to disappoint Sino. I guess we'll have to do this again another day. Oh, uh, yes. I'm not sure if you've noticed. Kali seems a little... depressed. I noticed she was in a low mood mm -hmm. when everyone was talking. Definitely. She has a lot going on in her mind. Remember that note she received? I was just thinking. I want to try solving this riddle and giving Kali the chance to accept the blessing. Oh, yes! I'm here for it. I I'm with you, Sucrose. All the way. Exactly. Maybe she'll be willing to breathe into my test tube. But anyway, that can wait. <laughs> As much as I'd like to make progress in my research, I'd prefer to see her smile. All right, we'll help out too. You will? Then tell me, honestly, do you think that this prophecy is for real too? Uh huh. Right. I'll right. be back. Let's meet at the alchemy crafting bench in the city. I've got some thinking to do in the meantime. Okay, we're, back. we're on a mission. We're we're gonna oh, do this for real. Shame. You just missed a joke about windmills. I think Stop. we're good. We've been saved. I don't need to hear it a fifth time. 
that bad, huh? Hmm. Well, now Paimon really wants to hear it for some reason. Didn't you say you want to see the Dragon of the East at some point? When are you going? Tomorrow morning. And you? What are your plans? I'll go into the mountains to have a stroll and collect a few plants as samples. <laughs> or perhaps I could join you? I'll be looking for inspiration for these card back illustrations. Found you! Oh, of course you brought Eula with I you. I was onto something as soon as I saw the fire. Wow, you have really sharp eyes. That's an outrider for you. Uh oh. Can we break the fire safety rules or something? Actually, you didn't. Strictly speaking, you should have reported your plans first. But since two of our very own alchemists are here, I'm happy to look the other way. <laughs> ah, yes, introductions. I'm Amber, and this is the Reconnaissance Company Captain Eula, a good friend of mine. Good evening. You are friends of Kale, yes? Hey, Eula. Pleasure to meet you. We'll get a rerun again of you someday. Oh, Amber and Eula. The pleasure is ours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she has wrote about Eula before to Kale. Oh, especially about you, Amber. <laughs> I'd say. We hear the latest news about you every time you write to Kale. <laughs> Glad to know we've made a good impression so far. Anyway, we're just here to collect Kale, so don't let us interrupt your chat. Come on, Kale. We're gonna take you to check out a few scenic spots. Okay, great! <laughs> Still as high energy as always. <laughs> you know Amber? Yes, we've met. She's Kali's most important friend, and for that, we are also very grateful to her. <sighs> That's Amber for you. Her outgoing personality means she can make friends with just about anybody. Hmm. It's Sucrose, getting... it's... Uh, I want to help them both, tomorrow. okay? If in helping her with Kale uh, lets us help her out too, I'm all for this. All right, I'll start packing up. Well, of course, Paimon. Any time to get to speak with Venti, I'm gonna take. <laughs> Guess Paimon knows you pretty well, huh? <laughs> One would hope there. by now. We should be hitting the taverns around this time. We can go corner him and make him answer our questions. Let's move! Okay, we're heading to Angel Show. We really packed up quickly. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm i loving this so far, because, yeah, no. Kale, and you too, Sucrose, you're being so hard on yourselves. I like how pretty this area is. This is definitely probably one of the side things, isn't it? That is adorable. Anyways, okay, no distractions. We're here to speak with Venti. Oh, I'm trying to use his ability in it. <gasps> You're here. Acting like I'm surprised. Oh, it's been a while. I'm on call, Dick. Tone Death Bar, drinking as usual. Put your drink down and get your game face on. We've got some important questions for you, mister. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, what do you make of it? <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? It's the Windbloom Festival right now. You can't just go around asking people for help so blatantly. <laughs> uh, well... If you won't tell us the answer, could you at least tell us if this thing's worth a shot? It sounds to me like you want a hint or two. And a blessing or two to boot. <laughs> a fine answer. The person who wrote this prophecy is very powerful. If you manage to solve the riddle, good things are sure to happen. Could it be Alice? So, I happen to know where this lantern is. Once I'm sorry. Things, I'm just very like curious. Isn't that generous of me? Very. Uh, we are very grateful, uh, Venti. Um, I, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll let it continue. Whatever. We weren't expecting much from you anyway. 
Paimon, this is pretty helpful, okay? I mean, it's not, like, the easiest of ways, but it's decently helpful. You can get back to guzzling wine and blowing wind now. Hm. Oh, woe is me. Paimon sees me as nothing more than a drunken wastrel. <laughs> there are actually a great many things that we bards are required to do. It just happens that enjoying life is the most important one. Once this is over, would you like to join me for a drink? Uh, I'll maybe actually have juice and not the alcoholic beverage that Kazuha accidentally ingested. You know, a favor for a favor. Okay, fine. I'll, uh, damn it, he asked, now I have to. <laughs> God, he knows. I, I, I wouldn't turn Venti down for anything, so uh, Venti never turn evil. Because, god damn it, I'd, <laughs> I'd fold. <laughs> Time to go. Okay, Sucrose. We're gonna this give world. this a shot. We can do this. Not of this world. Sucrose! We've got some good news and some bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Um, let's have the bad news first, I guess. Knew she was gonna say bad news uh, first. Really? Eh, sometimes it's nice to hear the bad stuff first, just so the good news can maybe help you a little bit. Oh, all right then. Basically, we went to Windrise to divine the breed. The wind said that the prophecy is real and that your idea is a really good one. That doesn't sound like bad news. So what's the real bad news then? Uh, Paimon is the bad news! <laughs> so there wasn't bad news? <laughs> uh, if it's not funny, then it's his fault. It's not his fault if you're the one who did it. It's fine. Well, that puts my mind at rest. Now, <laughs> Very true. Back to the other issue I've been mulling over. I was thinking about the flower that is not of this world. It could mean a human cultivated variety that doesn't occur in nature. But that's basically claiming that it doesn't come from this world in the first place. When actually, it's just a variant of an existing breed. So, the initial question is, can the flower's origins be traced back to a natural organism? If so, it cannot be correctly described as not of this world. But then, supposing we identified something outside of that category, whose job would it be to decide whether it belongs in this world or not? Then the question becomes, do of this world and from this world mean the same thing? Or is it deeper than that? God, this is complex. Paimon's head is already starting to spin. Okay, um, I did have one other line of thought as well. What about a flower created using alchemy? Would that be not of this world? Albedo may know the answer. But asking him right away would be like asking the teacher for the answer. Yeah, the no, I, I get you, I get you. It would render our search for the truth meaningless. I'd rather try and figure this out for myself. Could it be the wind bloom? Oh, now that you mention it, that's definitely a possibility. The wind bloom doesn't refer to a specific flower. Everyone defines what it means for themselves. In which case. The wind bloom doesn't exist in reality. <sighs> this does seem like a problem. Is Timaeus listening in? I've made a note. He's looking okay. over at us. I better go read up on this. I'm intrigued Yay! now. Paimo was actually useful this time. Guess we have that sweet Madame to thank, huh? We're counting on you for the rest, Paimon. Some time to prepare. Could we meet up here in, say, two days' time? Okay. Sure thing. We'll also think about the other three riddles in the prophecy. But, uh, since we're really going for this now, shouldn't we say something to Kale about it? I originally wanted to leave it as a surprise for her, and I also didn't want to get her hopes up over nothing. But you're right, Paimon. I'll need to be careful how I word it. But I'll try to find some time over the next couple days to mention it to her. Okay, right. got it. Thanks so much. Oh, okay, hey there. 
stuff unlocks in the back. This is beautiful fucking art. The festivals always have amazing menu screens, okay? We just gotta give them props for that. And I'm... Ah, damn. So I didn't make it to where we get to finish it, but we will get to Act 2 and then, uh... I will get to this. But let's see if I can theorize anything from getting to this, so... What we can do in the meantime, uh... Is definitely, uh... Maybe some of the game modes. And then since it's not going to be the full quest, uh, I'll keep it... I'll actually stream... Maybe the Alhatham quest. Let me let me look at that real quick. I have to skip time anyways. So... Would Alhatham's quest bring us over to Port Ormos? Who knows? But yeah, no, I'll probably do, uh, I'll, I'll probably actually stream this. Because I, I feel like this might be a little shorter than, uh, I was originally thinking because we still have a day left. But that, that's poor timing on my part. So, not the game fault, just me. I, I knew I was, like, a couple of days late, so I was just hoping it was on time to, like, get the whole story out. So, poor timing on my part. Yeah, I'll either stream the end or record it, so. Forgot my Twitch doesn't uh have my YouTube link on it. I should do that. <laughs> but uh I'll I'll worry about doing that in the meantime, but it need to be exactly at eight. There we go. Okay, Sucrose. We can do this. What's what's the plan? Sucrose, we're here. Oh, traveler, Paimon. I only just arrived myself, so I'm still getting ready. Ah, oh, and Kale just passed by a moment ago. She said she had some things to sort out at the inn where she's staying, but she'll meet up with us when she's done. Apparently, Tainari and Sino both went out, but she stayed behind because she wanted to help us. Okay. Not too bad. After reviewing it again with fresh eyes, I came up with a new theory which seems to hold some water. I'll attempt to explain it as simply as I can. I believe that each of the four things in the prophecy refers to a different field of knowledge. So, in a way, the prophecy is a test of the reader's intelligence. But it's unlikely for any one person to have expertise in all these different areas. So, so it's I suggesting you'll need one person for each? Yeah. Each mm -hmm. their opinion. Also, in two a really four group areas, the prophecy seems to needed to find prophecy. People. It may even turn out that the people themselves are the answers. Okay. So it sounds like we should put our heads together and list out the people who can help us. Exactly. I think we can go through each riddle in turn and generate four groups of names to match the four questions. Alright, then let's start from group one. The first riddle was a flower that is not of this world. Personally, I would still go with Albedo for this one. Alchemy is the most likely to have to do with otherworldly things. And he is by far the leading expert in this regard. You'd count too, you know. Exactly! You're the creator of the Tetratanic Sweet Flower! Who knows? Maybe that's the flower we're looking for. Huh? Do you really think so? <laughs> oh, but what about Tainari? He's a forest watcher and knows all about plants. If it's a flower we're looking for, maybe he's the man for the job. All right, I'll add him to the list as well. On to group two. This subject is a guide who will never, never get, get lost. lost. Mm, that's kind of abstract. Mm, does it just mean someone who never loses their way? Wait, but they have to be able to guide others too. So it's not quite as simple. An astrologer then? 
Are we are we talking about Mona? Oh, you mean Mona? Yeah, she's okay, so we're putting Mona on the list. Mona. Yes. She certainly seems very confident. And she can use her astrology to guide people. Would Bennett count? Hmm. Well, hmm. his luck's so bad that as long as you go in the opposite direction from him, you'll always be going the right way, right? That's kind of a rude reason to put him on the list, Paimon. I see. I, I suppose I can't argue Oh, <laughs> too gross. You don't have to agree with Paimon on everything. Oh, I think she would, yeah. She's got a great sense of direction after all. As a matter of fact, when the Traveler and Paimon first came to Mondstadt, she was actually the one who gave us directions. Yes, she's certainly a good guide. Is there anyone else? Let me think. Yes, I believe there may be one more. Albedo once made a set of equipment for Mika from the reconnaissance. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Surveyor and an exceptional pathfinder. He's even instructed others in the discipline of surveying before. So, in my view, he's highly unlikely to lose his way and would be very good at helping others find theirs. Cool! Another one for our list! Wait. Kali should have been here by now. Wonder what's taking her so long. M sorry. Could we continue our chat somewhere else? Mm-hmm. No, oh, let's go. You you're right. Okay, yeah, no, that's true. Let's look for Kale. Up here. I could put Kale on my team, actually. Um Everything's ready. Let's go. Oh, Farzan, I would love to keep you on my team. But I think this is a good opportunity. I, I haven't fully leveled Sucrose up, but my experiment will succeed. She's a little leveled up. Not really built, but you know. We're not like going into immense combat, right? So, yeah, no, she's- it's not looking pretty, don't worry, I know. <laughs> but, okay, the inn is right here. Okay, let's see, Kale, what's up? You good? Hi, Kale. Hope we're not intruding or anything. Is everything okay? Ah, Sucrose! I, uh, I was preparing some stuff. Is it time already? Oh no, I- I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Knowing Kale, it's worry, probably for a lot of people. Up. We were just worried that you might get lost along the way, so we thought that we'd come get you. Thank you. I'm ready to join you now. Um, how's that thing going? So let's pick up where we left off. Next up is the third line. One who would never lie. Hmm. Anyone spring to mind? I mean, Deluke uh, is an option. So? Kind, yeah. Seems like it would be pretty difficult for someone in his position to avoid having to lie. He's pretty direct, but... Yeah. Then what about Kaya? He's the cavalry captain and a rather popular figure, but... Uh, both of them have... Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely a sneaky one. But he lies all the time. Hmm. I can't help but agree with you there. <laughs> y yeah. There's the tongue deaf bard. Ugh. No. No. Either. He talks way too much nonsense. Hmm. He likes riddles a lot, too. Acting Grandmaster Gene? Gene. He has a good name in that regard. But from what I know, mm -hmm. she sometimes covers up the truth out of concern for those around her. But it's very example, hard for this topic, yeah. When Lisa loses track of time in the library and misses her patrol shift, Jean will come up with some excuse. 
Okay, that's just her being nice to Lisa and wanting to cover for her. She sometimes makes up stories to get Clea to behave. Oh god. Like the one about the big monster that comes to catch naughty kids who don't go to bed on time. Do you think that rules her out? I uh, probably. <laughs> Reject her because of some harmless fibs? It's not like she had evil intentions. This does seem very specific. I don't think we can go with that. Rosaria doesn't strike me as the type of person to lie. Oh, Kali, you probably haven't met her yet, have you? She's a sister from the church who looks, um, a little scary and not very sociable. <laughs> what gives you that impression? <laughs> by the alchemy bench once, a long time ago, and asked me about Albedo. I thought maybe she was trying to find him, for work or something. No, yes. she's suspicious of him. She just said that she was curious about him because he was so intelligent, and wanted to talk to his assistant to find out what he was like. A lot of people might have given a more tactful justification, but I could see in her face that she wasn't trying to hide anything. She was just very direct and straightforward. That's why I don't think of her as the lying type. Rosaria doesn't look like the sort of person you'd want to get into a fight with. Maybe she just fights her way out of situations that some people might lie to get out of. I can definitely see that. I've also heard the other sisters say that Rosaria doesn't even make excuses when she skips choir. She just doesn't show up. I mean, yeah, no, I believe it. Huh. Let's put her name down. In that case, I think Sino fits in this list, too. Oh. Yeah. True. Lying's probably more trouble than it's worth for someone like him. Kinda like with Rosaria. Oh, and Paimon also nominates Razor, but he couldn't lie to save his life. I don't think he would think to lie. I've also actually. In mind. Noel. Noel, the trainee knight. She's a very honest person. I don't think she'd tell a lie. Alrighty, write her name down too. Wait, there's one more person. You know, our long-standing staffer at the Timaeus? Huh? You mean Timaeus? Hmm. Yes, him. Um, truth be told, he's been love-struck recently. He swore that he wouldn't say a dishonest word or slack off until he succeeds in getting the woman he loves. Timaeus has a crush? Yes, that's right. Well, who is it? Do you know her? I've never met her. All I know is that she's from Liyue. Oh, no. okay. Says that she's fun, has a great personality, and is very, very good looking. Since we're on the topic, helping Timaeus win the lady of his dreams was also one of my goals for this Windbloom Festival. But how can we help with that? I don't know. Make sure he uses nice paper and a fancy envelope when he sends letters to her. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to help either. <laughs> get nice and wrap it properly. That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I had the same situation once in the Avidia forest. I helped another forest ranger out by delivering a love letter to the co-worker she likes. Yep, that sort of thing exactly. Oh, also, I helped him with some of the groundwork for one of his research projects. He must have appreciated it. Because he gave me a refrigeration device that he's been developing as a thank you gift. Is it any good? Um. <laughs> hey, hey. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> Sounds like a no. Hmm. Alright. Guess we'll put Loverboy down on the list now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so last of all, we have a legend that never ends. Anyone come to mind for this particular line? Lisa, perhaps? A librarian understands books best, and aren't most legends written down somewhere? Not necessarily. But we... It, it's true, we, we well, can't actually I deny that. legends. Fairy tales and picture books come to mind. Maybe Kai! She read a lot of fairy tales when Tainari was teaching her to read. Oh. Do I count? Of course you do. I'll put you on the list. I prefer to read things like an illustrated analysis of alchemical substances. More like, analysis, yeah, textbook related, like, research, yeah. Hypotheses of life. Uh, point 
taken. Paimon didn't quite understand any of those. <laughs> it's fine, Paimon. Mm. Clay might be a good choice. Alice. Her mother, Alice, is a mm -hmm. renowned travel author. So I'll bet she's been exposed to all sorts of myths and legends. Very true. Alright then, Clee makes the short list. Well, that should just about do it. Next up, we should go and ask the people on the list about the prophecy. Do we have to ask absolutely everyone on the list? It seems like a lot of people. It's okay, Kale. So, I was thinking that perhaps we should split up. That might make our search more effective. Okie dokie. Also, I thought of a method of gathering feedback. No problem. We can do that. You and the Traveler are practically joined at the hip. So you two can go together. I'll pair up with Kale. Capable Kale and sensible Sucrose. Sounds like a winning combination. Okay. I promise I'll help. Capable Kale. Yeah, I got this. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Rest assured that the unbeatable Traveler and Paima will do our part too. Off we go. We all just know that Venti's listening in, okay? He knows everything going on. Starting from the person with the most defined stronghold. Do we get to watch so from this perspective? Lisa should be there. Uh, interesting word to use. Um, maybe den? <laughs> no, that's even worse. That's even worse. How about player? Oh my god, you too. <laughs> I've li uh, d d I'm sorry. I I don't know why seeing that I'm these two, like, I, I, I didn't expect it to bring me so much joy. But it, it it brought me so much joy. <laughs> Here we are, Lisa's lair. Oh Jesus! Oh, no. That was a bad word choice. Now Sucrose is you. Hey, she agreed with you. It's a fine thing, Lisa, Kale. Might I ask if? Huh? Oh, that's weird. She's not here. They are though. What's up, guys? Sucrose, Kale. What are you doing here? I can only suppose that they were calling on someone. At least oh my god. Oh, please, just stop it with these puns. I beg you. Are you trying to win worldwide fame for unfunny jokes? Um, is Lisa not here at the moment? Surprising, isn't it? She went out. I'm afraid it's just us here looking for information. Except me. I'm not here for information. Like you, I came here for an abortive search for the librarian, who is also my academia senior. Oh, so you studied in the same darshan as Lisa? That's right. Her mentor in Sumeru was also my benefactor. We were both Spontamod students. <sighs> wow, that's cool. But wait. We're getting sidetracked. We came here to look for some information. Kale and I are investigating a prophecy. And we were hoping you all might be able to help. Oh? What sort of prophecy? Yeah, all of you are on a list of the uh, collective group. Hmm, I see. You want to ask them about the flower that is not of this world. And me about the one who would never lie. But there's no rush. You don't need to answer right away. We're just here to tell you about the situation. You can take your time to think it over and submit any thoughts you have in written form to the Sucrose mailbox. The Sucrose mailbox? <laughs> yep. I was thinking about it on the way. And although they seem like trick questions, there's a lot to mull over once you get down to the details. A quick answer off the top of your head might not go into enough depth. So... I decided to place a mailbox next to the alchemy crafting table. Everyone can submit their written answers there when they're ready. We don't have to call it the Sucrose mailbox, though. It could just as well be called the Sucrose and Kali mailbox. Or even... <laughs> Add everyone's Kali name to it. You too. <laughs> I think in this case, we 
can just go with your quick answer off the top of your head. <laughs> Sounds like a good solution. Certainly more reliable than verbal discussion alone. Agreed. Certainly when it comes to discerning whether someone is a liar or not, you cannot simply take them at their word. Understood. Once we've had a look into it, we'll place our replies into your mailbox. Thank you all so much. Okay, let's take them off the list and carry on working our way down. Mm-hmm. Already done. I'm pleasantly surprised to see those two introverts getting along so well. I love them. The feeling that Kale's return to Mondstadt has emboldened her more contrarian side? Yes, I'd noticed that too. Traveling and meeting old friends are both good for the body and soul. And isn't rediscovering one's youth while revisiting old haunts a worthwhile pursuit? When I first met Kale, she'd never known happiness or youth. But things are different now. Her Elazar being cured was a huge milestone in her life. Kali is a very sensitive and introverted child. I'm sure you must have noticed that too, Albedo. From I'm sorry, I'm loving these uh, here, interactions here. I observed that she's actually a very lively character by nature. But she had a very rough start in life, and it changed her. So, might I assume that your respective claims of looking for plants and artists in Mondstadt were just pretexts i wouldn't say that both kale and genius invoke yes they both need to be looked into <laughs> would it really kill you to just say yes in this situation it would okay Fine. yes we came out of concern for kale she's been back to mondstadt of her own accord several times but it has led to no significant improvement in her mood mm -hmm. well it won't hurt to give her some more time I believe that Sucrose might be able to help her. Sounds like an extension of your own self-confidence as her teacher. You could say that. In a similar vein, I've heard that Sumeru scholars often build their social relationships based on their academic ones. Is that true? I suppose it might look like that from your perspective. Sumeru society is something of a special case. The reason it is known as the City of Learning is because all of its resources are in some way linked to academia. Yeah, for better or worse. <laughs> academic resources equate to social capital. It is not unheard of, for example, for people to build a family in order to pursue further studies. But the relationship between the three of us is not an academic one turned social. We've never even worked on a paper together, for starters. <laughs> oh god, imagine so... if you have. The academic paper is the nexus of the academic family. Hmm. Interesting. I would think of us more as siblings. An equal and pure relationship, unaffected by academic considerations. As much as I'd prefer not to admit it, that statement is not inaccurate. I can understand that position. I have a younger sister myself, and it's only natural for me to be protective of her. Love you, Albedo. Describe fits the idea of a city of learning, as I imagine it. The family is where all social relationships intersect. As such, a family founded on common goals may actually be more stable. By the way, who's the eldest between you? Let's not go down this rabbit hole, please. <laughs> hey, In he's just age, very intrigued. I'm the eldest, of course. He just doesn't want to admit it. But your mental age is younger than that. Oh my I god. I even by enough to be the youngest sibling. Perhaps I could bring Kale into this happy family to be your elder sister. No. You will never see me admit to being the youngest sibling. Except perhaps as a last-ditch effort to turn the tables in a game of cards. Oh my god. No, not... <laughs> not like this. And of the three of you, Albedo's the oldest. Guess we'll leave Kali and Sucrose to it. Fingers crossed, all goes well for them. Oh, them. okay, now we're... Where should we go first? Okay, we're picking up here. Let's look at the bulletin board, shall we? A lot of people tend to show up there at some point in the day. Maybe we'll get lucky. I really like that cut. Okay. Yeah, no, sorry. I, I, I try, I'm trying to talk. 
But I, I love these quests for how much they, like, have characters interacting and, like, there's dialogue between them. I, I fucking love it. Of course, we're running into Lisa and Mika. And Bennett. And Razor. This is an amazing group. I don't know much about Mika, so I, I, I don't have too much to add on that, but I do know the other three. <laughs> Hey there, Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while. How have you been? We've been doing pretty well. <laughs> oh, that smile. I'm sorry. Is it looks... <laughs> it was so... <laughs> I mean, we did need... Not at the usual place. She really isn't. Please. It's not as if I'm glued to my chair. I like to get out for a little fresh air every once in a while. Mika's here today, so I thought it'd be a good time to introduce him to Bennett and Razor. They're all out and about quite often, so it's helpful for them to get to know one another. <clears throat> uh, hello, everyone. M my name is Mika. Good to see you again. I, I look forward to working with you. No need to be so formal. We've known them for ages. They're cool. Windbloom. Fun? Actually, we haven't gotten to the fun part yet. We've been busy investigating a prophecy. A prophecy? What kind? A good one or a bad one? I would say this should hopefully turn out to be good. Gosh, that all sounds quite fascinating. I can't believe I made it onto your list of names. Do you really think I'll be able to help? Believe in yourself. Yes, just right. like Razor said. Believe in yourself. You're Let's go, Bennett support group. Bennett? We're here. Okay, then in that case, I'll step up and present my thoughts on the matter. Uh, except I forgot I'm not really good at organizing. Hey, it's thoughts. all good, Bennett. We have time. Oh, there's no need to tell us all of your thoughts right here and now. Sucra said she'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench, so you can just write down your thoughts when they come to you and drop them there. A meticulous and efficient plan. Yep, that sounds like Sucrose. I will think also. Give me some time. <laughs> you got it, Razor. People on your list that you need to go see, right? We should leave you to it. Don't worry about us. We'll drop off our letters at the mailbox as soon as we're done. Okay, bye for now. Let's Hope to see you again time. soon. What's next? Maybe we'll be able to find some people there. And even if we don't find any familiar faces, you can see really far from up at the top. Maybe we can find people that way. Oh, you're working so hard. Do be sure to get some rest when you can. If you get tired, you know you're always welcome to visit me for a break and a cup of tea. <laughs> yep. Sucrose and Kali arrived at Stormbearer Mountains. Where hmm. to next? Let me check my notes. Huh, this way. Let's see. Kale, please follow me. Find someone that matches the prophecy. Okay, so we're in the mountains. I love this. This is so cool. I'm sorry. I'm never going to get over this. I swear these quests get better and better. Okay, I'm going to collect these apples, but I see the people over there. I'm intrigued. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. These two are a great pair. Oh, it's gonna be, um... Oh, even Klee's here? I saw Noelle and I figured it was Amber and Eula, but Klee's here too. Oh, it's our lucky day. There are several people over there. Amber? Wow, and Eula's with her too. Yep. Oh my god, hey, Klee. We were just talking about you. Ah, oh, right, I don't think you've been introduced to Noelle before. Kale, this is Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Nice to meet you, Kale. 
I missed you the last few times you were in Mondstadt, so I'm glad to finally meet you in person. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too, Noel. My name is Pauly, but you already knew that. Hey, it's last fine. Two, there's no need to be so courteous. We're not on some kind of diplomatic mission here. Clee, what are you doing here? Are you planning to blast some fish? She totally was. Nope. Klee's on patrol with the other night. And then gonna secretly run off to blast some fish. Now that you mention it, it looks like everyone here is a knight of Favonius except for Kale and me. I heard that there was a very young knight in the ranks, but it's still a surprise to see with my own eyes. I know. Kale, what do you do? I'm a trainee forest ranger in the Avidia Forest. Trainee? It means I'm not officially a fully qualified forest watcher yet. I'm still learning. Oh! You're just like me. I'm still working towards becoming a fully qualified knight. Technically, though the distinction is hardly relevant right now. This isn't a very formal patrol. Just, chatting. just chatting. Okay, yeah. Ugh. Don't panic, Kale. Just pick a topic and join the conversation. Don't panic. Whatever you do, don't panic. It's just oh my god, it's okay, girl. I can relate to this thought process, but it's okay. Let me guess. Were you chatting about the new guests in town? Yep. A few folks from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. <laughs> of course you all are. Hey. Uh, sorry. I, uh... <laughs> at least I didn't say anything about what the surprises are. <laughs> no. How am I supposed to join this conversation now? What do I say to that? Speaking of nice surprises, we've actually had a fairly big one recently. What kind of surprise? I like how Sucrose wants, like, she... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Sucrose is here to help you out, Kale. Hmm. What an interesting prophecy. I have no idea what the answers could be, though. So, essentially, you're gathering information to help you solve the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Thank you so much, Eula. Anytime. There's no need to answer right away. We'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench for people to drop us a note once they've thought of something. I'll drop something in there for sure. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Yep, don't worry. You can count on us. But we do have to finish our patrol first. What route are you taking today? We started in the Stormbearer Mountains, and we'll end at the city gates. You'd be very welcome to join us, but it sounds like you're pretty busy with all this. Um... No. There's always next time. We'll join up with you after we're done working through this prophecy. Oh, yeah, so, um... We'll be on our way for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, these two played <laughs> off each other so well. See you later. Have a safe trip back. I need to use my other, uh, party, uh, selection groups to just be friend groups that I think would be really good, and that would be the team. I, I, also, the moments, like, seeing this, I just have a stupid smile on my face. Are you okay, Kali? Uh, was it that obvious? No, no, not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. Mm. So that means it was obvious. No, it's okay. It's bothering you. You can talk to me about it if you want. I'm happy to help. Thanks, Zucros. Well, uh, the truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. Really? I thought you two were good friends. We are. Amber's a really important friend to me. I don't know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problem's probably with me. The first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. I didn't want to let people in, and I was generally pretty awful to everyone. Amber was the one person who didn't give up on me, and if it wasn't for her persistence, I wouldn't have found a friend at all. Without Amber, I might not even be here today. And because of that, I really look up to her. 
I think of her as my role model, in hopes that maybe one day, I could learn to be like her. Shut up, I'm not tearing up. trying and failing for several years, I think I finally realized. I'm no angel, hey! and I never will be. What do you I mean, Kale? It silly that I ever thought like that, or nothing alike at all. My personality's so... <laughs> weird. I always get so anxious and I overthink everything. Aw, Kale. Don't say that. <laughs> um, Sucrose? Would it be okay if I told you a bit about my past? This is fucking amazing. Why can't I just have this on repeat? Also, this means so much for Kale to open up. Like... Oh... Some pieces about her, but still, why did she have to go through all that? I know it's cruel, right? <laughs> Sorry, we've only just met, and I'm already dumping all of this on you. This is why I get so frustrated at myself. I'm always doing this. I get into a spiral of self doubt, and then I end up having to find somewhere to vent it all out. It's always good to have a no, place no, you no, can. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm really glad that you're willing to tell me all this. Mm -hmm. People don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they really trust the other person. Don't you think? At least, I think it's kind of an honor. And, I mean, um, you've probably noticed by now, but I don't have the best social skills either. I always just end up talking about the things I'm interested in. And going on and on but even so you still listen to me when i talk my head off about alchemy <laughs> it's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once if you hadn't told Aww. me all of those things i never would have guessed that you struggle so much <laughs> honestly i feel like we're very similar people R really yeah Everyone has their own problems to deal with. I certainly do. All the feelings that you talked about just now. I totally get it. It takes so much more effort for us introverts to fit into a crowd. When you were saying about how you try to think about what to say in advance, and you're constantly terrified of saying the wrong thing and making things awkward, I relate to that so much. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so immersed. I about studying under a genius. In fact... Before meeting you, I'd never met anyone who seemed so similar to myself. Oh. Um. I'm not very good at giving words of comfort or anything. And I'm not gonna tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. How about we just sit here for a little while? We don't have to force a conversation if we can't think of anything. We can just... sit here together. Sucrose has stopped talking, but for some reason, this doesn't mm -hmm. feel awkward at all. Maybe she's right, and we're more similar than I realized. In Sumeru, I always like to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery, and it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone oh. else by my side. Mondstadt's breeze is so gentle and soft. Hey, Kale. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like... <laughs> This is fucking cute. Um, uh, I don't think so. <sighs> Sorry. Well, hey, Kale, what do you see? <laughs> then, maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength on everything. At least, not when it comes to looking at clouds in the sky. <clears throat> Thank you, Sucrose. I feel much better after talking to you. Yeah, it helps a lot, doesn't it? I also vent to my flasks, sometimes. The next time we get the chance, I have to show you my tetratonic sweet flower. And my tetratonic wind bloom. <laughs> Your tetra... what? <laughs> Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. I think you might like them. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, 
You'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. I brought some crackers with me. You want one? There's cheese flavor or tomato flavor. Sure. Hmm. I'll try the cheese one. Oh my god, they're fucking pure, precious, and adorable. Oh, look. They're enjoying the scenery together. And they fucking are. <laughs> Shall we go play with them? No, no, leave them be. No, it's mm -hmm. Let them sit for a while. Exactly, they're Eula. Not what Kali needs right now. Oh, needs fucking shit. I love Amber. Someone different who's never met her before. I don't get it. Is there a difference? At this moment, there yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll understand once you're a little older, Klee. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kali needs someone that's just not the same old me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I... I loved that. Is that... Okay, cool. They're, they're still... Okay. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm gonna go deal with Leanne and her troubles, but... But then we're gonna immediately get back to it. But, oh my god. I... Like, I, I already... Like... I, Okay, my, my sucrose build and level may say otherwise, but I have always liked sucrose a lot, okay? Um, and, um, I would love to have a, um, shoot, hangout event for sucrose. I, I feel like I would really enjoy it. Um, but, oh shit, why am I crying? <laughs> I don't know. I it, it's just the the friendship building and like finding people who you can relate to enough to feel comfortable and kind of safe with just their presence alone. I am the worst person to try starting a conversation with cuz I am just an anxious ball of energy that honestly much like Sucrose, and I guess, you know, when Kale really gets hyper and wants to talk about Amber or something she's, you know, doing and feels proud of, you know? It's like, you can go on and on about the things you love and that you're passionate about. Yeah, that's me. That's the only times you'll hear me running my mouth off. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that that scene just meant a lot to me. I am genuinely tearing up. Woo! <laughs> okay. No, no, no. We will continue on. Okay, I'll be finishing building Sucrose, even though I don't want to keep fighting Beth. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to make her really strong. Okay, we're back, yeah. Figured we were back with us. Help! Oh, I beg you, please don't let go! Oh, my... Um... Yep, no, 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 let's that, speed up, okay. <laughs> no no more time to... I got to... Yeah, okay, it was Timaeus. Oh, that's a weird pair. Oh, damn, me and Paimon sharing brain cell. What kind of a motley crew is this? It's been a while, Traveler. You two are looking pretty good. I trust you've been well. Yep. We're definitely faring a lot better than this poor guy on the ground. Hey, please don't rub salt in my wound. I really have been trying my best. I believe it. I'm sorry. If this sister hadn't grabbed you in time, then you would have been seriously hurt, if not dead. I know. Yeah. I really am grateful, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't mention it. Just lending a hand. Quite literally. And had she not lent him a hand and pulled him up, he would have gone tumbling down the cliffside. What happened? Did Timaeus almost fall? Yeah, what were you doing, Timaeus? Uh, What's up? Well, so what actually happened was Oh, were you coming for I the Cecilia? Mm -hmm. some flowers and ran into Mona mm -hmm. on the way. She took a look at her scry glass and advised me to turn back because it would be dangerous. But you still came up here anyway? Well, yes, I did. Because there's something I just had to do. 
Oh, I hardly think giving flowers to your crush is worth throwing one's life away for. It's rare to run into mm. someone with a death wish in this area. I don't have a death wish. I just uh, didn't think it would really come true. I mean, when Mona said it would be dangerous, I, I thought I'd be fine as long as I watched my step cautiously. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I was wrong. I'm telling you, I'm just here chasing the love of my life. Love struck Mondstadters is what the Windbloom Festival is all about. Okay, that explains you. But why is Rosaria here? I was looking for a quiet place to escape the crowds. I wasn't planning on having to save a life along the way. So that's why the Scryglass just showed danger instead of fatal danger. Because of Rosaria. Also, I'm sorry, this is so off topic, but it, it, it's on my mind. And, and, and well, okay, QB mentioning I'm kind of like Sucrose in certain topics. I'm sorry, I heard Rosaria speak and it just now clicked in my mind. That is Elizabeth Maxwell, and she also voices uh, Winter in Ruby. I, I'm sorry, I heard her speak, and I, <laughs> I had, like, flashbacks. It's, we're, we're good. Get back on top. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know there's a lot of um, VAs here that I know. It's just I don't always think about what roles they play. and it. I, I haven't heard Rosaria speak since... Um, the razor quest so it's been a minute continue on <laughs> very funny anyway uh, traveler in paimon uh, what brings the two of you to star snatch cliff just trying our luck we've got a lot of people we need to see today so we've been all over the place actually you're some of the people we were looking for huh that you are huh <sighs> I see. So, all we'll need to do is find some clues, make a note, and drop it off at the mailbox? I, I can't believe there's a prophecy like this, and let alone that I have a part to play in it. Oh, I guess this means everyone will find out about my crush now. <laughs> I can't hey, this, it's okay. I give some Cecilia's to the girl I love. They'll really suit her. She's... No, 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 no one asked. Please, do not subject us to your question about your girlfriend. <laughs> hey, Mona. Uh, oh, you saw right <laughs> through me. You said you need clues, right? Well, in that case, Mona Magistus the Astrologist will provide you with a personally handwritten letter. Just wait for it to show up in your mailbox. You can be on your way now. We won't keep you any longer. All right, Thanks well, for all the help. For now. Meet up with everyone else. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Timaeus, do your best to stay safe. You know. We, well, there's someone who wants to help you out too, and we don't need you getting hurt. Uh -oh. Will do. Uh, this is all so embarrassing. Uh, thank you both. <clears throat> I'm not stealing Cecilia's. Time to go. I would never. Time to go. Oh hey. Actually a couple up there. Yeah, I think we're heading yeah, we're heading back to the city. But let me continue my uh Time to go. grabbing of these. Um who else needed these? It was Albedo and Venti, right? Anyone else I'm just, like, mysteriously not remembering? I don't think so. Because I, I just really like the flowers, so I'm collecting them because I'm here. I have both those people I mentioned, like, already at level 90, so... It's not necessarily like I need these. I just felt like it. But no, no, this this cliffhanger is about to like suck. I'm gonna get like upset. And the stream's actually going on a decently long time. It's probably because of my pausing too and like getting sidetracked. But yeah, okay. Who else do we have left to speak to? I feel like we got a decent chunk of the 
Yeah, we, we must have got, like, everyone, or at least basically everyone, because we're going to the mailbox. Well, the crafting bench. So maybe that's our meetup point. It would make sense. That is an adorable mailbox. We're back! Oh, but it looks like you two beat us. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Yep! We managed to find and talk to everybody! We got back a little early, so we took some time just now to put the mailbox together. We got really lucky today. The vendors were feeling super generous. So we didn't even need to pay for the materials. It's just a shame that Kale got a splinter. Uh, don't worry about <laughs> me. I'm used to working in the rainforest. I get splinters all the time. I've already taken care of it. We've already wrapped up everything on our to-do list for today. So all we need to do now is wait for everyone's letters to arrive. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you get some rest while I keep an eye on the mailbox? You're definitely your master's student, Sucrose. As long as you are Albedo are around, Paimon can relax and know that everything's taken care of. <sighs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Uh, wait. Actually, there's one thing that still needs taking care of. <laughs> Paimon's starving. Hey, Traveler, you wanna get dinner? Your treat. <laughs> Isn't it always my treat? I'll go with Sucrose to return the leftover materials to the vendors. You two. Go get a proper meal. We can't have anyone going hungry. Yeah, now would be a good time for a break. Once everything is ready, let's meet up here again and collate all the information. Hello? Sounds like a plan. Whomst are you? Uh, hello? Of course not. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying the cliffhanger's gonna make me wish we could just jump to 1 a.m., but I didn't realize it would, I, I was being very serious. One of each. <laughs> Just most of it. Paimon is super full. Is everything packed up and ready? What do you think about meeting up at five to go to my house? Yes, everything's ready. I packed some great. Okay, you two. Smoked ham. Oh, your parents will love it. <clears throat> Ham? Look, we've known each other for quite some time now. Don't you think it's been long enough for you to remember that we only eat bacon in my house? Oh, hey, come on. Why are th why do these two always have something going on? To get some milk today on my way home. Ellen, Please, hey there. Feel free to pay a visit to Cat's Tail anytime. Enjoying the scenery. <laughs> I was going to say this, that's venti. <laughs> Oh, I can put something on your tab? Well, that's a pity. I already had a few drinks before coming here. I shall take you up on your kind offer another day. <laughs> there should be no shortage of opportunities in the future. Oh, definitely anyway, not. You should be getting ready to thank me. I come bearing good news. Hmm. What kind of good news? Behold! It looks like... Paper with a simple map and something like an incantation on it. What is it? Oh, Venti did say he, he was going to give us a map. Right yeah. The answer to the prophetic puzzle? Simply head to the location uh. on the map and you'll find the lantern you've been looking for. However, mm -hmm. if I were you, I wouldn't just go and reveal the secret right away. As you've seen, a lot of people have been laboring hard to uncover the answer. A secret is like a well-aged brew. The aroma from the bottle is sweetest when revealed in the company of friends. I got it. Then it's settled. I'll leave 
you to your business for now. Feel free to find me for a chat again once you're done working through the prophecy. I will. <laughs> also, if you have some time, we could organize another fast track love poem class. <laughs> oh, you're starting that up again? Hey, it's <laughs> fine. Yeah, nobody else has signed up this year, so the duty to learn falls on you. <laughs> Understood. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> I don't know why I would need to learn love poems, but it's Venti's task. Paimon, have you ever thought that maybe he, at least in this moment when he finds us, he feels calmed, relaxed, or that maybe sometimes he's actually just putting on a nice, relaxed face? I don't know. We're, we're speculating and theorizing about Venti now. We, we This is for another day. Like when Ahoyo finally releases Venti's Archon, uh, well, Venti's Story Quest Act 2. Looking at you, Hoyo. Anyways, moving on. Excuse me, if you don't mind. <gasps> it's the lady who was listening in. Immediately after talking, we, we were talking to Venti. Well, yeah, hello. hello. Who are you? You may call me Scarlet. Scarlet? Just like you, I'm a traveler visiting Mondstadt from another land. Are you from Liyue? Mind if I buy you a drink? It... I'm very curious. Hold up. Is is this maybe the person Timaeus was talking about? I don't know, because all we know is that she was, isn't from here. I see. I can tell that you've dealt with a lot of people during your travels. You can tell? Well, we <laughs> are very experienced adventurers after all. True, Paimon. I can. That's why I tried to strike up a conversation with you in the first place. Hmm. I was on my way to go shopping earlier when I overheard your conversation next to the crafting bench. From what I could gather, you were trying You were to listening in. I'm... Yep. Bizarre is definitely the word. Don't you think it sounds just like the kind of story that would happen in Mondstadt? Anyway, that's why I wanted to ask you a favor. If and when you manage to unravel the answer to the prophecy, could you let me know what it is? Okay, I doubt she's up to some nefarious plot or something. But my mind, be just because they did show off that she was listening in behind, like, the, like, around the corner. My mind's just like, she's suspicious. Um, she could genuinely just be very curious about this prophecy and, like, what it, like, means. But, I, I don't are you interested in it, too? Not the prophecy itself, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I'm interested in. I was born in a distant land, but I have family and friends who once lived in Mondstadt for a long time. Okay. They said that it's a great place for Sorry for thinking you're suspicious. That's my overactive brain. As it happens, someone I know has an anniversary coming up soon. So, I figured this would be a good time to come here and see all the sights that she once saw. What do you think about Mondstadt so far? Hmm. Okay. It certainly lives up to its name as the city of romance and freedom. <laughs> we think so too. So, about the prophecy. No problem. Thank you. You're very friendly. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. I'll leave it to you then. I hope you continue to enjoy the city and have a wonderful day. You too. I have been tainted by too That's many other influences. Local, huh? do you think our could be? That because her her outfit does not scream Liu Wei. But I don't know. I I'm like stuck between thinking about who Timaeus's crush is, while also just being like, I I don't know I. Oh, we followed her. Find me one who would never lie, as well as a legend that never ends. Hey, Rosaria. What is up? <laughs> I never thought I'd have someone secretly following me, even in a free city like Mondstadt. <laughs> 
Rosario doesn't do that unless there's a reason. I was about to say, immediately after saying, uh, I'm sorry for thinking you're suspicious, when she asked about the prophecy again, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I immediately was like, okay, yeah, no, uh, y you scare me. Good day to you, miss. I, I don't know. Scarlet, you confuse me. You, like, send off trigger, like, like danger warnings in my head. That I, I just don't know why. Maybe it's your manner of speaking, or just... But Rosaria's... Th She's like this with Albedo and us, too, but... Ah, oh, cliffhanger! No! <laughs> Venti's note. A simple map. Um... That would be here, probably? Uh, let's not look at all the stuff I'd never look at, okay? It's fine. Venti's note. It will go away. Okay. Uh, a paper with a simple map and something like an incantation. According to Venti, it contains the secrets and revealing the prophecy. I wish I could look at it. Um... The one, okay, the one thing I'll, uh, the one event I'll do before ending this off is let's go to this one. Because we know how I feel about the, oh, but which musical instrument do I want? The zither or the harp? I don't, I like the drum too, okay, I do, I... Oh, is it actually the stand over here? I'm sorry, I'm over. I'm, 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 I'm trying to back off. But no, the quest so far has been so good. I, I love seeing characters that like I never really it, it had a chance to think like interact, like get to see that, and, and just realizing how well some cast members from different parts of this like. Whole world would like get along and yeah it, it's just super amazing to me and I I don't know it, it 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 just brings me so much joy uh yeah haha -ha. I knew I went to the wrong one hello a little game known as known as ballads of breeze Taking part in this game will allow you to play some lovely tunes, just like the Bards of Mondstadt. Playtesters in the past. Even someone with zero knowledge of how to play instruments will be able to play something that, uh, won't sound too bad? You sure? I can grab my... The, the one instrument I have in my room right now. I haven't practiced in a minute, and I'm pretty sure it'll sound pretty bad. My cat woke up. Artemis. Let me focus on this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I hugged my cat to kind of stop her from causing trouble and she's cuddling up into my, like, onto my- oh my- I'm sorry. The cuteness is happening happening off stream. I'm sorry. Okay. Um I really like the sound of the zither. I I really do. The drum was nice, but it's it's between these two. Oh, um I really... I'll go with the liar. Oh god, they must be working on something. Okay. That, that was not perfect. I think it's fine. <laughs> Hey, Art, do you want me to let you out before I do this? 
Okay, what songs are already out? Wind Bloom. Ooh! I'm excited for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is good, but Kale is, is better. But the Venti's is the last. I I'm I'm super excited for this. I love Venti's music. But okay, uh, so why not? Let's uh, try doing all of these, at least on normal. Um, because why not? Well, I say that, but no, we're going to try them all on normal. That's what I'll do on stream. Uh, and then anything else I do will just be me having fun uh, on my own. Okay, sorry. Select difficulty. We're gonna do it on normal. But I will definitely be doing it, uh, later. Okay. So, yep. Okay. Hello there, Kale. No. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked up. I got so into it and then I fucked up. This will be the only retry. The only retry. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's fine. I'm a dirty liar. <laughs> okay. I get it. No! I love this song. I have an idea for a YouTube vid. I'm gonna try to- I, I, I'm gonna- yeah, no. Okay, I'm definitely going back to that. So, uh, this Discantis will be changed by the end of this, okay? I promise that, okay? I'm not gonna accept 96.77%. That is terrible. <laughs> I want to perform that again so bad, but I'm gonna hold off. I am going to hold off, and we're gonna move on to Albedo. So, so I might actually get manage to get to uh, the other thing I said I would do. I'm going to look up to see if the Alhatham quest gets in the way. And, uh, and if I find it doesn't, then we'll do the Archon.
I, I didn't press it. <laughs> I just held it. I did that so early. I did that. Oh my god. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't expecting the end. I don't know why. God damn it. Uh... <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll <laughs> take... Oh my god. If only you could see my face. Oh. One day. Uh, I'll actually be able to do this with face cam. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I think that would be more entertaining than me trying to play. Because I just go so quiet. In focus and concentration. Because it's so hard. Oh my god. Set. I messed up at the flipping end. <laughs> uh, for the record, I will admit I'm pretty biased. Mondstadt is my comfort place. It is basically my home. And if it wasn't for that one fail and that one good, I would have had the perfect score. But I, uh, for now, it's going to stay at this Discantis. Oh. Okay. I, I could sit here and, like, forget I'm streaming for, like, about ten hours, so... This is why I was able to stream uh, the Persona dancing games. I I I, I get so deathly invested. <laughs> Mm. 
No. I'm also just ridiculously harsh on myself with them. I, I saw the goods, don't worry. I realized I was being very slow. <laughs> oh, a long hold! <laughs> I was able to look away and it was still going. Yeah. No fails, though! We take that! And I've lied. I, 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 I am actually gonna end the stream, don't worry. I'm not lying about that, but... We're doing the invitation to Wind Bloom again. Um, I I I I I'm, I think um I want to do this one, just you know, to really get the feel in. If my cat's gonna cause distraction though, that's gonna be a problem. It's so short. Also, yeah, no. My cat was moving around. I, I scored better on hard than I did normal. <laughs> Let me open my door real quick. And then uh, we're going to get to the pro difficulty. And then I will be ending this off for now. Okay, we're going to do the pro mode, and let's go.
I saw some goods, but I, I think I did good. And this is our welcome to Windbloom. But you guys, that being said, we will be ending it off right here. Um, I would, you know, do these other ones, but this is a bit of a... It's either... I, I think it's balloons or something. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm hard of remembering. This is obviously taking pictures. Um, this one's the most, I think, entertaining seeing me play-wise on stream. So I will probably... At least do the Kale one. Uh, on stream when I do the last part uh, if I remember to. I, I might just get so emotional over the end of this. So. It's okay, Kale. You have your very nice and trustworthy friend with you. Okay? But no. This, this is great. I love this. Um... I will either impatiently stream the second I can, uh, very early tomorrow. So, like, between 1 and 5 a.m. I might stream it. Or, um, I will be patient and actually wait till during day. Uh, I don't know yet. It is always iffy. You never know what you're gonna get with me when it comes to streaming. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, that's in regards to this. Uh, I'm gonna, once again, look up whether or not I can do the art conquest. Or, I, I don't want it to ruin my mood, actually. Uh, I heard that the Alhatham quest is good and that the Dio one was good. But I think... Yeah. I, this, I ended up somehow drawing this out to two hours. So what I am gonna do is... You'll for sure get the rest of Windbloom probably literally tomorrow. Like, I, I'll be on that. So, no nothing uh, changing there. And, uh... I'm just gonna hope that Wednesday will be good. That or I'll, I'll just do two streams tomorrow. But, Wednesday, uh, but Thursday for sure is gonna be a no-go. Uh... It's a very busy day, and it's just going to probably be kind of unpleasant for me. So, unless I, like, want to do um, more of possibly a story quest, which would be El Haytham, I guess. Or a hangout event. So, Thursday would be, like, if I really needed a pick-me-up. Okay? So that, that's going to be my promise. But no, this was fun. I love this. Everyone's precious. Um, I'm very intrigued to see where Scarlet gets in, like, what involvement Scarlet's gonna have with all of that. And... I don't know. I'm, I, I'm just very intrigued with this whole prophecy and where it's gonna go. And just seeing um, more interactions between Kale and Su Sucrose. Because so far, the build-up for it and just their interactions have been, like, some of my favorite favorites, honestly. So, yeah. Uh, I will see you all in the next stream. Bye-bye. Uh,